Hello everyone, this is Serious Trivia. Welcome back to the episode of our legendary Sun Quan Trivia Model Let's Play. We continue for episode 16 from turn 57 in the winter season of 218. So as we continue, I like to first apologize to everyone who got confused because I've been saying, why are we not going to war with the other three kingdoms, thinking that there's some sort of realm divided type of situation when we hit Emperor, but that's just not true. I think it has to do with the fact that we haven't played the game in six months, and the last one we played was Zhu Rong, where we didn't go for three kingdoms. But regardless of the excuse, this is normal. This is how the game should be. Uh, when we hit three kingdoms, we are not automatically put into a war with the other two kingdoms, um, and we can just continue from here. They don't like us, so eventually they might declare on us. I am no, uh, in no rush to take care of that. We want to take care of Zhou Yu's problem first. And we have some other rebellions down here as well. You can see that army moving towards us as we have him as a buffer. We have time to respond. Aside from that, we also have Zhang Lu coming down. So we are going to need new recruitments very soon. Um, speaking of new recruitments. Mm, no one in particular. Uh, I think Ying's actually historically one of our generals. Oh, he's not actually here. That's fine. We got a couple new officers who just came of age into our faction, which is a bit odd. Like, He Qi. Wait, let's let's make sure that's the right character. Just because the pinion's the same doesn't mean it's actually the same guy. Yeah, He Qi. He is not this young. Yeah, there's no way. Um, we're in 218. He, he's a civil official for Wu. And he dies in 227 of a decent age, historically. So unless he died at 25 and the history book didn't say he died young, which would be really weird because 25 would be really young. Uh, but essentially, it's kind of weird seeing him here. Crimson Blade somehow doesn't start with it. He does have the armor, though. Liu Kai, okay, Liu Clan. I mean, it's nice to get another strategist. Fire arrows, yep, we need them in the army. Pretty desperate. Oh, he has a unique ability as well. He wasn't... Wait, he was not that special historically. Why does he get all the abilities? Rapid suppression. Could he fought in battles? I'm trying to recall this, but I, I don't... Ugh. Nothing comes to mind. Wait, this is terrible. This is a passive buff, which means it's applied to yourself. Like, there's no, there's no distance to this ability. Why would we ever pick this up? We we go top, go over here. That's weird. Anyhow. Uh, let's take a look at our existing armies. Zhou Yu, I intend to give Sun Quan a fair fight here. Well, we might have different definitions of fair, but... Basically, we're going to fight 1v2, even if we do night battle. We're just not going to bring two armies. That's my definition of fair fight. This emergency defense force, they left, which means we get to take this. Yeah, we were... I mean, we we see this a couple times already. Ah, uh, Xiao Qiao is there. Hold on. Anyone with anything? Oh, there we go. Better capture chance. Yeah, you can see the difference right there. And we can put an army, uh, put an item on her. Um. The thing is, if we move Panjang's army on her, uh, item on her, 
then we can't shift it the same turn onto Sun Quan, who might need it more. We're not going to delegate because we can get decisive by fighting, and if we get decisive, then the capture rate goes even higher. But my first question is, can we get something here? No one has capture here. Oh, he has perceptive. Both of them have perceptive. That's an extra 10%. Sun Quan's level 7. Level is also a very important factor. So Sun Quan's actually a decent capture general. Are we going to cancel the little baby step that we have here? Alright, we're going to get rid of this for now. We're going to borrow Pan Zhang's little shackle item. Chain shackle. Yeah, that's definitely decent. Can can we get the full set? I don't think we can wear that. Yeah, we're bounded. So that's that's that. And we want to capture. I guess not Zhou Yu because he can't join us. Man Chong with the unique item. We have a bandit. I mean, we can capture him for fondness. That's that's still worth something. We have night battle on any army? We do. Okay, so we will night battle this. Uh, no, we don't have enough to extract, nor do I want to extract. We're gonna night battle. So, because the default percentage was close defeat, we actually can't see the percentages on them. But Joey happens to be very high level, so the capture rate is the difference in level, so it's going to be hard to capture him. Like his escape chance, like you can see our escape chance. That's based on our level and other bonuses, so he's going to have a very high escape chance as well. We're going to do this separately. And we're going to fight both. It's a shame we can't duel Sun, uh, Zhou Yu because he's a strategist. Uh, this is going to be a burn down the settlement type of fight. They have militia units all across the board, except for some tiger guards and one handmaiden guard. Those are the one that's going to protect their general the most. Doesn't even matter, actually. Oh, beautiful snow day. It's going to slow down the burn, but it will still burn regardless. Um, we'll keep the Juggernauts here in case they charge. And we're going to do the turtle formation trick. Where we're going to protect them from enemy range. Because now we cover the humans that man these. Well, actually, we don't cover them completely. Maybe we should put them back a little bit. But the idea is enemies shoot arrows. The turtle formation will catch those arrow damage and protect them with 100% range block chance. And the machines will still fire in this mode without any issues. And enemy cavalry can't really charge us either. As you can see, the brace spears will cover everything. Just, uh, you see that that's the guy who mans this. Just a little beautiful trick to use. Quite nice. And we'll protect the flanks with these. This is actually a really solid army. And then they have incredible range as well. Not as far as the Onyx Dragons, but still decent enough to like do damage. They have really... I mean, they have okay charge, but there's 60 of them. Most cavalry have only 30, so we outnumber other cavalry. Uh, we almost match a lot of the infantry archer options. I think that's good enough. We bring our generals over. Let's not forget that. Oh, we also have a heal. Okay, I mean, nothing else too impressive. I don't think they'll charge out. That would be really foolish. Let's see if Sun Jian can pick up... Yeah, Sun Jian can pick up both duels. We'll do that. Give him some action in his life. Sun Jian was a thrill seeker. He liked to hunt tigers. We'll let him get his wish. Ah, oh, the snow is really slowing the spread. I gotta shoot that more. That's okay. 
We don't really need to rely on the trebuchet to do damage to their camp. I just need to light it up and that, yeah, you can see, there we go, 92%. So that tower is going to go down. I don't know if it will can spread fast enough in the snow. I think it can. It might burn out before it spreads. That's what I'm worried about. We'll see. We'll test this out. See if the spread works. See, that burned out before this hit over 50. And then it goes down. So I might need to target these individually. At least just clean out the towers on this side. So we can focus or we can move our range units up, basically. Okay, that might take a while. Let's start the duel. It'll be challenging. We could bring one of the Tiger Guard to help him out, but we're against really weak opponents. So I hope we don't need help. What well, we've been missing? We, uh, we should try to wipe it out. There we go, got another shot. Yeah, snow is definitely a factor. It's not spreading yet, not over 50. We actually have to get hits on this. I don't think any of them will spread. It'll be a slow fight, we're up against the Sentinel. Wow. All sorts of missing. Yeah, we hit it. All right, we gotta hit this as well. We have six more shots. Should be more than enough. Yeah, having the same exact struggles here. We also don't have- I, I could go heal him. I should be doing that, actually. Need one more shot. We got it. Oh, no, no, no. You guys stop. Get closer to your husband. That was the harder one with Nasty of Steel. This one should be easier. Alright, we're giving him the heal. We're gonna offload our ammo. What is he doing? Yeah, I'll let them shoot whatever. Doesn't matter that much. Yeah, we're getting healed. It's a very small amount, but it's better than not having it. Pick up new targets. Yeah, you know, crossbows hurt a lot more in terms of armor piercing. But then again, it's not gonna showcase very well against these militias that barely have any armor. And yeah, we're struggling against the Sentinels. It makes sense. But I still believe in him. Now, if the enemy range units can all die, we can probably move up our juggernauts to finish off everyone with jets of flame. All 
Alright, we got the kill. Just shoot the rest. Range on these are really short, but if they do charge out, we kill really fast. Just slowly awaiting for the fire arrows to start going. We're probably waiting for the infantry to move past them. Yeah, turtle formation means they're a little bit slower. That's fine. If anyone gets close, we have plenty of arrows for them. Oh, they're starting to shoot our juggernauts because of the disconnect between the troops. I could ask them to break formation, walk a little faster, and then get back into formation. Actually, our juggernauts are kind of in position. Here comes the jet of flames. Yeah, now we're going to help them block the arrows. Yeah, it looks good. Now the real nightmare starts. You can see that they're still shooting us. They're trying to hit these units, but it's almost impossible if we get hits on them because of the turtle. There might be like one or two units that are misplaced in the turtle, but most of them would get protected. Like, that's kind of weird. That one needs to be poking. See that? These are not exactly in the right position. We could probably just play it because of terrain. We can fix it. Like that one's just poking out incorrectly. We could use these as cavalry now if we want, but I feel like the flamethrower's got this. I guess horses on the menu tonight. They're bumping into their own wooden stakes as well. Joey's like, never seen these machines in any strategy books. We did use up the ammos pretty fast, but there's still these. 
Toby's unbreakable, so there's not gonna be anything but to kill him. There's no army loss, so let's go. Everyone stay. Let me do this myself. Now Zhou Yu has a decent weapon, silver. Hey, I told you guys to stop firing. How dare you strike back? Guess we can be more efficient if we dismount. Oh come on, we're supposed to have the faster attack speed when we dismount. There we go. There we go. Swipe, swipe. Alright, that's what you get for betraying us. We got decisive, so it's better than the close victory that we would have gotten with a delegate. So we got the three kills on the three generals. No capture. Alright, they're still on the field. So this is with a close victory, this is with decisive, but they're no longer giving me the values. Um, they technically retreated one, so they're getting wiped off the field. I feel like we can just delegate this one. Especially since we own this county now, so we get a heal. During the end turn. What's, what's the capture? Come on, let's do it. He has a gold item. So I could extract her as a spy. But do I, do we really want her? She's she's okay. Ah, uh, we didn't get Manchong. Oh, they put us over the river. That is not good. That makes it much harder for us to attack Zhou Yu next turn. I guess we could chase Manchuan and just let Zhou Yu go. He might summon two other generals, but I don't think there's anyone interesting. You know, it's only 13%. I think we'll get like maybe a 5% improvement if we do this decisive, but then we have to spend like 15 minutes, so... For efficiency sake. And plus, if we do confederate, she will come anyways. She's part of the Zhou Yu package as his wife. Alright, Poyang. Definitely a great place. Definitely want to find a good administrator for it. Chongyi could work. The 10% is good enough. He can pick up the 15 and the 40 as he level up. Twenty percent from industry. How is he getting that? He's on the field? Ah, so it's like a 5% plus the 15. Just gotta make sure. 20 is a weird number to see. Is she bandit? 
Yep. Ooh. He comes with everything ready. So it's not 10%, 5% all source, but he has everything already ready to go, so I, I do favor him a little bit here. Yeah, we don't have the reform to change that. I guess we're keeping that. And we're gonna upgrade this for more. That's the right building. And upgrade this for more. These take so long. It's because we have no, we don't have the construction time bonus anymore. It's literally dipped to the bare minimum. I mean, if we can get family back up, which is starting to build, we can counteract authority a little bit. But I think if we really want to counteract authority, we need to create vassals. That's the thing. We don't have that yet, but there's still plenty of industry. Oh, we need to get the Emperor doing something. We could do this for family support. Faction wide take a 5% hit. That's not a big deal. I can do that at multiple commanderies. Like, money is not that important. So we added 30 points here. That definitely helps. Let's see how this works. New strategy. Plus, the Emperor should be doing assignments all the time because that's how he can level up. All right, we need a couple armies here. We mentioned Wei Yan going towards Chang'an. Seems like a good idea. Missing a strategist and a vanguard. We could just use someone who, you know, they don't get along. Our two new officers. Well, it seems like everyone hates the strategist, so it's not Wei Yen's fault. Good to know. Yeah, since he does have unique abilities, let's throw him in here. Oh, they even have an army that's even closer. Oh, good thing we do the... I mean, I saw this army. I never saw this army coming, so... It's a great timing. I mean, we already robbed him of all his items. He might have gotten new ones. It's not that impressive. We got some unique units for Drama Loose Faction. Woodland Woodcutter, Woodland Labor, Farmland Hunters. Don't look scary. I mean, just from the name, it's not very intimidating now, is it? Nothing too crazy. Yeah, I think we'll f we're going to be fine. I do want instant full health units. So we will use this method again. He can, however, just borrow this. He's probably going to lead us, so we should switch him to commanding position. It's the best weapon we have, so he gets it. Yeah, I think we'll just go with all shock.
Juggernauts or no Juggernauts? Because if we don't do... Oh yeah, let's not do Juggernauts. If we don't do Juggernauts, we just want all of these. Okay, I mean... Feels like we're safe now. And we'll counterattack up Shangyong. That's a very tall commandery. So this army will have to take care of Zhou Tang. We'll let her stay as the command because she can capture. I don't think he will attack us. So I think I want him command for the heal and the movement next turn. And then if we do have to fight him for a capture chance, we'll switch that over. Take that. Yeah, we'll let Zhou Yu live. What about here? I could just finish this off and then go north to defend. Yep, nowhere to retreat, so they're just gone. Grab the heal. I think we're just going to work our way to Wisdom of the River. We just need... To, I don't know which city he's going towards, but with us so close, we'll be able to go to whichever one next turn. This looter group is still on the run. It's kind of ridiculous, to be honest. We're at least protecting the city, but he could go to this one. I guess we are pulled kind of thin. Down south is like a lot of land, not a lot of our armies. Okay, I think that's pretty much it. We have this for the counterattack. Right, this is the goal that we want to do. And we just have to recruit now. I'll just give him these. Ah, uh, the item's not available this turn. He'll, he'll recruit next turn. We're not going to move into the enemy territory this turn because she's got a swap. Why is our Sentinel leading? I mean, granted... Feng is only level 2, so I doubt he has reach. Yeah, he does not. She's closer. I will still move him. He's going to get reach eventually. Well, honestly, this would be a better unit even on the Sentinel. And then we'll borrow the cavalry item and move up next turn. So that's settled. That's fine. That's fine. Nothing else crazy going on. There's a couple armies against us here, but we don't have any land up here. So we're fine. Same thing here. They'll do most of the fighting for us back over this direction. And spies. Okay. We are going to load up on Spice in the Obey's faction. Six Spies, all in the Obey's faction. Tell us hope. Oh, no, 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 no. I messed up big time. On the bright side, he's no longer going back because that little symbol is gone, but I totally messed up because I forgot. I was like, these are all Lobe's characters. No, this is Hal's Hal's character. We've been saving up this point to call him back, which requires 49 points. So if he waited one more turn, would have been good. Now I gotta wait two more turns. But the good news is it seems like he's no longer fully satisfied, so he's not flipping back. Okay. Not the end of the world. It was close, but not quite. Um, 
There's not a lot of targets. Oh. Plus six. What happened? Okay, we'll let the two new girls do it then. They all have enough points. And we're looking at back to negative 50 again. Yeah, some people left, so it dipped back. We gotta save it for pretty much for maybe two, oh, maybe even way longer. Okay, but we did get one more willing spy. 16 points. I think we save his points. All right, so spies are done. We got to take a look at our own building. Definitely made a couple mistakes there. Court assignment character. All right, we'll get that. I'm surprised the tax building default build rate is so fast. Because we definitely don't have the bonus anymore. Alrighty. I think that's pretty much it. Quick diplomacy check. 7.5. Yeah, it's not not enough. Yeah, not not even close. He moved up? He moved down. He's attacking this position. Yeah, we're gonna have to just attack him, I guess. Tell us how wrecked him? Okay, we didn't have to do anything. We didn't have to go with that north. Not against us, but against Xun Yu's faction. That huge list, only two people actually here. Both strategists, both willing to spy for us, and thus both safe. And since we do desperately need strategists, I guess we could be pickier than that. But Zhang Yun, definitely welcome him. A little old, but we, we can't be that picky right now. As you can see, our family has been shifted up. That 30 points really helped. And does that factor into our authority loss? It's only minus 50 now. Okay, so that's great news. It's spring, so we got plenty of options. Tong Wu, more builds. I like that. Zhou Yu moving slower, sure. 
I don't think we need more public water. <laughs> I mean, population growth is fine, but maybe just the item for now. Well, and die, reroll. Mess him up. Yeah, mess him up. Got a diviner. Yeah, it's, I mean, at least it's silver tier. Artful. Okay. This is the more difficult situation. Because we have two cities that could come under attack, and they're threatening both, technically. I need to... Ambush. And then summon another army here. Liu Bei is getting siege and thus cutting off our trade access because Cao Cao is at war with him. See, this is what you get for vassalizing him earlier. Should have just left us to kill him. Alright, Joey's retreating back. Yeah, we got sent to the other side of the river. Which kind of sucks. But that's why we have this army. Uh, yes. We do just attack him. We do just delegate. Um, either release or employ. I think we release. I want to build up our relationship diplomatically. So we need to release as much as we can. Now we're technically defending that. We can keep it safe. And I'll corner them from this direction. Meanwhile, we take this from them. And then we sail down towards Tribi. And we're going to rebuild a bit of our authority. I think we can just hop into the water. That way we don't get the movement penalty for doing that next turn. Yeah, he's still threatening us, which makes it hard for us to move forward. He's on march though, so I feel like this is a pretty easy fight we can get. We'll save it for the end of the episode. They are moving... It looks like they're going here. So we'll respond there. Can we catch the looters? Yes, we can. Not bad, actually. Still on the field. Oh my gosh. We'll chase. Mm, let's unleash the Normads. And Guansu. I'm gonna make them slightly defensive so they don't have to get rid of the units. Oh he can oh he it's it's capped on him. Oh this is good. This means I can um get a full army of I'll take the mustering, I'll let them rebuild from zero because we're not moving this army, so everyone can just recruit slowly. That threat's not coming anytime soon.
I still think this is the better option. He shouldn't lead though, should he? Yeah, I don't think he should lead. He's the better lead right now. We can pick this up. And we'll be fine. It's at least two turns. And I think one of them will fall for this. Okay, let's pick our reform as well. We... Went this way, but for us to get the tier 5, we need to go this way too. This also makes sense to get the tier 5 in, which we have in all our tier, tier 5 available small regional city. Yeah, she's an admin, so we'll go down that way. And we'll end with this fight here. Capture-wise, she should lead, and we should borrow the item from Sun Quan. Wow, crushing defeat! Is it because... Why? We have the superior force as well. They're on march. I have no idea how they win this. We probably won't fight here. Oh, it's raining. No. There goes our fire attack plan. Maybe we just stay here? I guess our generals are not exactly healthy and it's not exactly a good position for mo most of these things, but still, can't see how we're not favored in this fight. We might actually just micro these. I actually feel like we can beat him. Save this for the crowd clear after the duel because you gotta get out afterwards. But we did everything we can, so we're going back. Yeah, 
Yeah, I mean, they're trying to flank us, but they're not going to be able to. I'm going to pull two cavalry right here. Okay, they're probably going to do the full circle. Alright, we don't have time to micro this anymore. It's on its own. Oh, if they're routing, then we charge. Can I get back on my horse? I am back on my horse. Alright, let's charge the enemy archers. Hurry up. Alright, we'll give our units an armor plus. I don't see their cavalry peeking out. Can't see their units that well. Let's charge the ones on our line. Turn the white flag, please. We can't use abilities because the enemy strategists are shutting us down. I still don't see the enemy cavalry. But it's over. Unless they're unbreakable. Yeah. Army loss gonna kick in. Ah, why is their cavalry just hiding this whole time? I will finish them off with this. We might get dismounted here. Nope, we didn't. Guess they weren't braced. That did it. We win? Looks like it. Pretty sure it's gonna be decisive. There we go. So I think with this battle, Zhou Yu's threat is sort of over. We'll try not to be the one to wipe out his faction. But our armies will probably sail down. Ooh. Yes. We'll just get everyone. Alright, that's great news. Uh, we can take all his land, but I don't want to wipe out his army. I don't want him to die to our hands. It looks like we can't vassalize and annex him or um, co uh, confederate him. But after the battle's over with him, all four of these armies can sail down and join the northern push against Zhang Lu and um, eventually Cao Cao, but Xiao Yuan currently, because they're going to shoot up this way, shoot down over here, and then we can have a western flank attacking Cao Cao at the same time of a northern flank and sort of a southern flank for him pushing up at the same time. And then we'll wipe out one of the kingdoms, and then we'll wipe out the other. And that'll be that. First, let's see if Liu Bei can hold off Cao Cao's attack, which doesn't seem likely. So we'll let Liu Bei lose a bit. And if he gets really weak, maybe we can confederate him. We'll see. Um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this one, and see you all next time. Bye!